Duvet covers are an easy and effective way to update a bedroom's decor and, if you're like me, store-bought covers won't always do because of limited colors and prints. I'll be showing you my simple technique for making a twin European style cover which doubles as a top sheet for a child's bed. As a shortcut, I'll start with a sheet set, the top sheet doubling as the underside of the duvet cover. I only need the top sheet for this project, so I'm saving the fitted sheet and the pillowcase for making up the finished bed. I will also need printed fabric for the duvet top, matching thread, three buttons, cotton ribbon, and thin elastic. For tools, I'm using fabric scissors, pinking shears, measuring tape, fabric pencil, an iron and ironing board, sewing pins, a sewing needle, and a basic sewing machine. I've also prepared printable instructions to help you calculate measurements and follow along. For the top of the twin duvet, I've ordered five and a half yards of 100% cotton custom fabric with our own wood grain design from Spoonflower.com. For specs on full, queen, and king sizes, refer to the printable instructions in the link below this video. Start by pre-washing and drying both the sheet set and fabric. This will soften the fabrics and take care of any shrinkage before assembling the cover. The duvet cover will be based on the width of the sheet. The pre-wash sheet may shrink a bit, so make sure to measure before cutting the printed fabric. Most twin comforters are 90 inches long, so I will trim the bottom of the sheet at 93 inches, which gives me three inches for seam allowance and a button panel. Here's a tip. Fold up trim portion to use as a cutting guide. To finish the bottom edge, roll one inch, press, and roll one inch again. Sew along the open fold to finish the edge. For my spoon flower printed fabric, I chose Basic Cotton Ultra, which comes 42 inches wide. There's an unprinted strip on each side, which I'll trim away, making the width 40 inches. Use pinking shears to prevent fraying. Trim two 93-inch long panels from the five and a half yards for the length of the cover. One panel will be the center and the other trim to two smaller panels. Here's the formula. The width of the sheet plus four inches is the total number. Subtract the width of the middle panel and divide the remaining number by two. This will be the width of the two side panels. Once the three panels are trimmed, pin and sew together with two half-inch seams press the seams open. Fold the edge a half inch twice for a roll hem and sew the top and sides, leaving the bottom edge open. Fold the bottom edge one inch and press. Fold another inch and press again. Trim three pieces of thin elastic one and a half inches. Measure and mark the center of the bottom edge, then tuck and pin both ends of the elastic into the fold. Measure halfway between the mark and the panel seam, make a new mark, and pin another piece of elastic. Repeat on the other side. Sew a top stitch on the edge of the fold, finishing the end and securing the elastic loop into place. Pin both top and bottom pieces together with right sides facing each other. Mark both top side panels at two inches and eight inches. Cut cotton ribbon into two 20 inch strips and pin the center onto the top two corners. Starting at the two inch mark, sew an anchoring back stitch to the top corner, across the top edge, then down to the two inch mark again. On both sides, sew from the eight inch mark on the side panel down towards the bottom of the duvet, turn the corner and stitch to the bottom panel seam. Trim corners at an angle to remove bulk, careful to miss cotton ribbon and seams. Turn duvet right side out and press all seams and corners flat. Sew three buttons along the bottom of the sheet, 
to match the placement of the elastic loops. The duvet cover is now ready for the comforter. Place your arms into the side holes and reach for the top corners of the comforter. Pull into place and use the cotton ribbons to tie down the corners. Button the duvet closed. There you have it. Now you're sleeping in comfort and style under a fluffy wood pile.